Greetings from sunny Strasbourg. This week, we have been debating 30 years of Erasmus scheme, Trump's decision to pull the US out of the Paris Climate Agreement, and of course, the general election result and the political chaos in the UK. Erasmus turned 30 this year. It has given 9 million young Europeans the chance to study, train, and volunteer abroad. Listening to those who had taken part in the scheme, who were able to live, learn, and love in new languages and cultures, it is clear that Erasmus benefits its participants for their whole lives. And it would indeed be a shame for young Brits to miss out when we leave the EU. Now, one of the most pressing issues facing our country, our continent, and the world is climate change. After Donald Trump's awful decision to pull the US out of COP21, Hilda Hein, president of the Marshall Islands, gave Parliament a moving speech on the real impact of climate change. Hein described her country as having beauty as breathtaking as its vulnerability. If we do not stick to the targets agreed in Paris, the Marshall Islands will become uninhabitable before the end of the century. For the first time in what feels like a very long time, I am more optimistic about the future because of Labour's success. We had a remarkable campaign. We did what the pundits told us was impossible. We mobilised the young people. We mobilised the old people. And we even won over Tory voters. Instead of putting great back into Britain, the Tory Brexiteers have made us the world's laughing stock, second only to Donald Trump. The public has recognised that the government is dragging this country down with their extreme ideological stance. In the referendum last June, people did not vote to become poorer. People did not vote to lose their jobs. People did not vote to lose their employment and consumer rights. So we must push together for jobs first, labour vision for the UK and the EU. The political winds have changed and labour has the momentum to speak up for the people. That's all for me. Until next time, goodbye.